Hey everybody, welcome back to Midnight Suns. We have a mission called The Changing Face of Evil. So it looks like it's happening at the Quinton Carnival. Trouble comes home to Johnny Blaze, and the heroes need to find him before Lilith does. Now, Wolverine's on this mission, which leads me to believe that maybe this is when Wolverine actually joins our party, which would be sick. I did a couple of cool things to our decks with specifically the Hunter and Magic that I want to show you guys. So if I have an option, I'm going to bring Magic along, but let's see. Okay, no story stuff. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to bring magic. But before we jump in, let me just show you what I've done. Uh, so through salvaging a couple of cards, uh, trading in some crafting ingredients at the cauldron for essences, I've gone ahead and upgraded Mindbreaker to apply three Berserk. Now, we've seen this work in a couple different ways in the past, so I'm still trying to get confirmation on exactly how this should be going down. Um, but if I apply two Berserk, we applied it to a Hydra unit in that last big fight. Uh, he attacked people twice, which is cool. But then he still had the buff or debuff at the beginning of his next turn. Now, we KO'd him before we got to see if he would actually do it. So I'm not sure if that's intended or not. But then we also put it on one of those new enemies in the Sanctum. And they did two attacks, which was cool, but then didn't have the debuff. So I'm thinking the Hydra one may have been a bug. And it's just they're going to attack three times. But it also reads as makes the target attack nearby units as their next action. So some experimenting still to come. And uh, I'm sure some of you guys may have an actual answer, but I'm waiting for an actual answer on that too. So anyways, we did upgrade that. Now... Uh, Wolverine's deck, we got no control over. This is just how it is. However, can I change how he looks? Absolutely. Oh, ooh. Oh, <laughs> okay. I mean, this does fit the dark, but so does this kind of. And it's a little bit different. It's a little, little goofier, but let's change that. And then uh, Magic's deck. This is what I'm super pumped about. So I removed Kick and kept in a Soul Blast, but I've put in so many portal cards i've upgraded limbo's grasp on both of these so i i had to craft one so that i could upgrade the other that we had so limbo's grasp plus not only does it give you the extra damage to enemies knocked through a portal but also creates one before you do that so this now creates a portal generates two heroism and knocking enemies through it take a lot of damage and then i've got a bunch of extra portals so just portals portals and portals and the modded one here draws an attack card as well. So I had to upgrade this and I had to salvage some heroism or uh, uh, some skill cards and crafting items to get that. Anyways, I think that could stack to be really insane. I hope this works. Combat items wise, we're going to take a Vampiric Essence and a Recovery Nanobot. And uh, let's go from there, okay? Oh, also I got the black version of this suit. Pretty cool. I know that might have been long-winded, but that's very important knowledge because those decks seem nasty. Plus, we can use her to knock into uh, stuns and stuff, which is kind of cool. I actually should have considered, and I may still be able to do this. Uh, maybe I get rid of Mindbender here and I bring in the Deadly Ground Plus, just so that we guarantee that we have some stuns in here. Let's do that little last second before the portal change. Okay. Blaze has kept the parchment of power safe so far, but he won't withstand a full-on assault from Lilith on his own. He will not be on his own much longer. The parchment will stay safe. I wonder Good. if he's going to show up to like See fight ever. That'd be kind of cool. I'm doubting it, but like I don't know. Even if he showed up and like did some cool motorcycle thing, I'm in. I would love that. Oh, yeah, okay, so now we're gonna meet all these other crazy enemies too. Love that. We didn't have it. How about you? We are being paid to find the page, Creed. Have fun on your own time. Oh, this ain't about the money anymore. Oh yeah, there he is. Get inside. You can go straight to hell. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, crap. That's 
just cheating. Surrender the page, please. Nest mother. Nice meet you, lady. Surrender, or be destroyed. Ah, they dug up Junior too. Child. Struck a nerve, huh? Then you're gonna love this. <sighs> Heard you were dead, Ah, oh, it's incredible. That was the idea. I'd ask what you were doing here, but I just pumped a few rounds in his chest. The legendary Johnny Blaze. I have heard much Hear of that. This is your fault. Play with Mama all you want. I've got people to save. Mama. Long story. Oh, this, what a cool setup. Oh my god. Okay. So we're going to have some things to learn here. Nest mothers summon altars each turn. Destroy them to damage the nest mother. If altars are not destroyed, the nest mother may turn them into monuments. Monuments have different effects, which can help enemies and hinder heroes. Okay. So altars are presumably top priority. And we destroy altars to damage the nest mother. We'll just have to hope Blaze can handle the escape on his own. We've got a quick problem of our own to deal with now. Oh, there's like a bunch of them. Are going to make things a lot harder unless right. you destroy them too. Take out Guardian. The big lady in a rock collection. Got it. Moving on me. Wow, this is intense. And so just because Lilith decided to talk through this one, don't feel the need to show it any mercy. Okay. Let's think about this for a second. So these guys, you hit one, you taunt them all. Okay, so that's in a way a w something we can do to kind of manipulate that. It seems like this guy traded. Taking damage will taunt this until the end of the turn. Okay. It seems like this guy traded health for a shield, which is kind of interesting. And then these altars, immune to knockback, inanimate, so taunt, berserk, Strengthen, weak, stun, bind, don't do anything. Uh, inorganic, can't bleed, corrupt, or life steal. Cannot be targeted by heroic combos. And bonded, damages the nest mother when destroyed, removed if the nest mother is KO'd. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay. We definitely want to be setting up Limbo's Grasp early. Berserk is interesting, although I don't really need Berserk here because I don't need the lifesteal. But we could do something like Limbo's Grasp. And then we could shove somebody. Like shove some of these dogs, maybe. We have the quick soul slash to get rid of some of the shadow hounds. That's a, an option. This is also going to give me an extra move this turn, which is nice. The upgrade to this, that's quite helpful. Um, yeah, okay. And I do have a generator back there. So our rules, our rules on the battlefield have the changed. And now we need to figure out how we're going to do all of this. An eviscerate is a pretty decent idea here to at least... Clear this remaining shadow hound. I don't love that magic's looking to get tapped twice by these two dogs, though. Four times 34 is 136. So, like, that's not going to quite do it. <laughs> but I could Limbo's Grasp, knock back through the portal, follow up with an Eviscerate, and do it that way. Uh, Wolverine's gonna have to tank a punch here. I'm sorry, but I just don't see a way around that. Um, I think we could do something like this. Oh, yeah. Now, okay. So there's also a 10% chance to generate a Limbo portal card after an enemy's knocked back through a portal, which is great, obviously. Oh, we have Ley Lines here. Just saw that. Just saw that Ley Line. Very sneaky. There's one over here, too, for a week. And we have one here for a week as well. Okay. 
for now, we're just going to do this. We're going to get rid of the other minion dog. We're going to do a bunch of damage here. 128. Okay, so we still need 174. And we're not going to get that from an Eviscerate here. So, in a way, I'm tempted to redraw one. I'm tempted to redraw one. Or, actually, maybe what I should be doing, since he just destroys these, I guess that's probably why he's here. <laughs> uh, one of these cards should be used to chain and destroy a bunch of these. Right? Like, probably yes. I'm done with you. Because if they turn into the altars, then that's really bad. Stay down. Oh, she, okay, she takes 460 divided by four. Quick math is what? 115. 115. Okay, it'd be sick if I had another portal, but I don't. I want to save this for next turn because of the lifesteal. Um, okay. I can use a move. And this thing, we just kind of let this one go, maybe? I could use a move and then s do a soul blast here. We don't know who she's attacking. Attacking this unit taunts all Lilin. It's also a super villain, so you can't resist attacks. And <laughs> I remember I made that mistake with... Uh Venom, not too long ago. Bind and stun only for one action. Cannot be knocked into drops. Like, it's kind of scary. I also have this as a decent option, and then I could follow up with a Soul Blast. I think I will do this, actually. This is going to stun one. Oh, that is not exactly what I was hoping for, but that's fine. I don't, it doesn't matter who does this, really. Yeah, so I guess we stun one. That is my only stun. We have, uh, we have Ley Lines, and we have a Deadly Ground. That's vulnerable. That's weak. And weak. So yeah, I guess we wait for, like, the Hunter card there. And then I can use her uh, forceful knockback on this guy to finish him off. I'm going to check here just to see if I get any crazy bounces. No. And that'll give us a counter, which we won't need for this turn. Or, actually, here's what I'll do instead. We'll do this. It's immune to knockback. Don't care. Oh, yes, I do care. No! Ah! <laughs> Guys, you didn't see that, okay? You didn't see any of that. You didn't see that. I know it was immune to knockback. I just, for some reason in my head, I was like, assumed damage. I know. I know. Okay. Regardless, we still got that one killed. Uh, I just, that was a, that was a bit of a whoopsie there for me. Uh, okay. Let's let's see. This will this will serve. I totally did that intentionally so we could see how this was gonna go down. Wolverine's about to get punched real hard. Okay, 115. 115. He can heal that off in his next two cards. Join the fray, my children. Okay, so she probably is using that as one of her actions, I hope. 
Enough insolence. Wouldn't it be nice if we had a counter here? Oh, wow. Okay. I don't think it would have mattered. We're probably not drawing any magic cards here. And he does seem to be trading his health. Bring what you got. Nest Mother Monuments. Once a Nest Mother raises a monument, it will benefit the enemy or hamper the heroes through various means until it's destroyed. Destroy the smaller altars to damage the Nest Mother and prevent her from converting them into monuments. Yeah, okay. So I would have almost done that last time, but you know. Mistakes happen. Destroying those See, now it has a bunch of health. Way to bring her down. Assuming we can get past All that enemies guard. have a chance to gain concealment when damaged. Nothing to worry about. That's potentially annoying. Deadly Ground here and Merciless are pretty nice. Yeah, I'm a bit confused about how he's... How he... That's showing as like his shield's going up and he's taking damage because he did take damage originally But then maybe that feeds back into his health And it's just a constant thing. I'm not 100% sure on that yet I Love this I love that Should do the trick Okay So I can either use heroism in chain four or i can build heroism in chain three hunter's getting attacked next we don't have a way to conceal but i th i think if i go chain swipes over here yeah they could conceal but uh, again it doesn't really matter if i'm not gonna follow up on this guy Maybe maybe what I should do first is go for the go for the knockback. I actually have to get rid of this too. <laughs> and I think we're far enough away where I can won't be able to chain it. Um So that that definitely sucks. Oh here, we can use a quick swipe for it. Let's do this. It's kind of cool because we're getting to know all of these new enemy types, but we're also now learning a new hero because we've seen him, what, once? But like, hands-on is a little different. I mean, uh, uh, like, I feel like a mind breaker on this guy is pretty insane, is it not? I, f I feel like that's really good. It's nearby units, but like, look at, she's nearby. We are not nearby. She's nearby. This puts me a little bit more nearby than I'd like to be, <laughs> but she's still right there. Okay, well, how can I end furthest away from them? One, two, three. I could use a move as well. Okay, so he's Too healed easy. now. That's cool. That's very cool. We throw this down on big boy here. I can handle it. God, that suit is gnarly. Every once in a while, the legends are true. I just don't see a world where he attacks anyone except for her. Am I crazy?
See, now next turn we have a Deadly Ground Merciless, possibly. I think keeping both of these is fine. We could drop a rock here. But let's keep the heroism. See what happens. For the mother. Okay, now attack your mother. Hell yeah, 172. Not not great. You will pay the great. Okay, so that actually taught me something. Oh, she summons up more little ones, too. Oh! Okay, so she can just straight buff one right away, too. Monument of Warding. <laughs> Very cool. This is so cool. Okay. Any altars you don't destroy shall attempt to turn into monuments. 57 Shines damage whenever they play a card. That manipulate the battlefield. I never knew my mother was so vain. I assume that comes with the territory when you have a cult following to maintain. Okay. Um. I'm not gonna stress about the wolves too much unless I have some quick cards here. Deadly Ground could be nice, but Limbo's Grasp is the way right now. I feel like if I'm going to draw the last attack blade, I should try and do that strategically. And that means I could do something like... I guess I could cure this. I could cure that wound, I guess, right? Also, Wolverine's thing is if he goes down, he actually gets a revive. And it and so even on this difficulty, that's actually really nice. I don't think he takes 146 from this attack. I don't think we saw that. Damage is... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Gives 158 block to a random enemy each turn. Yeah, see, I can see why now these have to go down. Like, that's very clear. Be the darkness. I owe you a Coke. We're going to use our Vampiric Essence here as well. <laughs> I owe you a Coke. Good stuff. Do you, do you guys notice anything on these uh, posters? Clara the Clairvoyant, Roxanne Simpson, I'm not sure who that is. Something about a wolf. That's cool. Um, what this can do for me is a couple things. Oh, there's one, a sneaky one back here, hey? Wow. One, two, three. I've got a reputation to protect. Now, I wonder if he life steals off that, or how does he life steal there? Oh, he doesn't at all. <laughs> That's cool. That's fantastic news. Okay. She's almost dead, though. She's almost dead. I need about 325 plus 8 damage. Um, I mean, a portal knocking her into something is definitely on the table here. What if I deadly ground? Or do I just knock her into a ley line here? I think so, actually. I think I knock her into a ley line. Um, I don't care if the wolves live for this one. We have a resist. We'll take a little bit of damage. <laughs> Our dude here is in a bit of a situation, though, so... I gotta figure that out. But 
Maybe I just eviscerate after Limbo's Grasp here to heal up. We could use him to, to deal the uh, vulnerable damage. This is also going to redraw his other card. Consider I love magic. Oh my god. Because now we're doing 192 damage through a portal. Which is more than half of this. We're also... Okay, we got, we got options, you guys. We got options. This is going to taunt all Lilin onto her. I just realized. Um, which is interesting. But he's going to taunt back because he's going to go for the thing. Uh, we'll see if this counts as an attack, too. But it should. Oh, wow. I didn't think about the AoE explosion. That's sick. So now, it, it, even this big guy, I imagine. Oh! What? You gotta be kidding me. A change of mind. Dealing direct damage to the Nest Mother will taunt every little one. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, so... <laughs> Hold on. Okay, this can work. And we're gonna make this work for us. So that's fine. That's fine. We're fine. We are totally, totally, totally fine. I'm gonna let this guy live. I guess. Oh, these are so annoying. Man, these are so annoying. It's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, so maybe what I do here... Hmm. This is kind of tempting, actually. That's kind of tempting, but we could probably do it next turn. If I just chain swipe here, I could go all in on him. It's not a lot of damage, so it really doesn't matter. I could do this one for four, but again, she's the one getting attacked here, right? So I think what I'll do is... And actually, well, these have health now. Right? So he should probably heal off that. Let's find out. Ready. Okay. Oh, no. He only got it from the dog. Works for you. Oh, yeah. Inorganic covers the life seal. Okay. Yeah, I was, yeah, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Now I know, now I know, now I know, now I know. It's totally cool, it's totally cool. This may actually, if we're lucky, this would end the mission, but I don't expect that. Still got a big boy here. Won't be happy oh my God, sick. Ones fall so easily. Okay, so definitely a lot of th things I should have done differently there, but it's the first time I've encountered that stuff, so this you is resist, a big learning. The prophecy will be fulfilled. Maybe so. <laughs> but not today. Let's hope not. Not so tough without that little pop gun of yours. <laughs> Oh, straight up headbutt fallen saber tooth. I'm gonna enjoy this. Not as much as me. Somehow, you get uglier every time I see you. And you get smaller. Grunt. Stop fussing over me, you idiots. After them. Escape this time, Creed. 
This is so freaking cool. All of you. All right, round two. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, Sabretooth won't wait until the enemy turn to launch his attacks because he's basically got built-in frenzy. Looks like Mom. Too bad she couldn't do something about Okay, well, face. um, everyone's attacking the hunter. Jokes now, but let's see how funny it is when I spill your guts. Okay, so Already one thing that we could do back. ain't gonna be a problem doing it again. <laughs> yeah, his health is a bit. It's a bit concerning to me. But one thing I could do here, I could, uh, I could deadly ground. That gives us some interesting positioning opportunities. Uh, Limbo's grasp is carried over all that damage. But basically, I want to last sight on one of these dogs. So that no attacks go off. His... I guess, potentially might. Because if I'm going to deadly ground here... I want this for future setups. We need to draw Wolverine's uh, Berserk again. How close am I to a caller? I need two more. Okay. So now if I if I last sight, the hunter will be safe. The hunter will be safe. And then I pretty much have to go into like something else, but I don't really want to attack. Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay. The shadow hounds they don't they don't attack you just by attacking them. They don't taunt all of you or all towards you. When taunted, all other shadow hounds will be taunted. So that's specifically for Wolverine here. Which is slightly problematic because the lifesteal didn't carry over. So we really need his other card right now. Um... We do. We really need that. I don't mind this, and I'll tell you why. It spends our heroism, but it does get rid of three, and then there's a chance that he, there's a better chance that he doesn't attack Wolverine here, because there's two other options. We won't resist his attacks here, but at least the likelihood of him getting attacked is lower by doing something else other than concealing the hunter. It does use us some heroism, and I feel like Annihilation could come in pretty handy. We could look to redraw into some lifesteal for... Um, Wolverine, but if I do that, best case scenario is I still am getting attacked by at least three dogs. So maybe. Also, we do have some stuns out here, so like a merciless setup is possible. It's way back there. We don't have a portal. Okay, I'm gonna redraw merciless. Let's see what happens. Really, 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 really. Now, this is a free card, but it will trigger Frenzy. I'm going to redraw Annihilation for now. Oh, okay. Well, we got it. We got it. I think I have to do this. What I'm considering, though, is if I should stun him or not. He will take damage going through the portal, and he takes a lot of damage. Let me start here. This is also going to draw Wolverine cards for us. Want it done, right? Let's see who he attacks. Do it yourself. Don't try that again. Unfortunate. 
Unfortunate on the old daisy poo there. Ooh. Okay. Damage cards have lifesteal. So in theory, this is a damage card. <laughs> oh, but you just never know. We have another quick card here. But then, do I want him attacking twice in this round? I feel like this should have lifesteal, but the other ones clearly have it, you know? And you can see the impact on his health bar, so I feel like this is the safer way of, of doing it. This is going to taunt the hounds, though, right? So... That's another thing, but we need to heal. I am impressed. Okay, so Daze is removed. I could simply do a shove here. I could simply do a shove. And he doesn't act. But, like, playing cards is an inevitability. Maybe just setting this up into a stun is actually better. Or into a vulnerable here, especially by an explosive. And next to this thing. Okay, so he is gonna act. Let's see what he does. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna make you pay for wow! That. Wow! Did that just happen, bro? You're for real? He hit him into our stun. Oh my God! He's gonna he's gonna fall. Well, we're gonna have to use his uh, his special little revive. It's gonna apply two vulnerable at least. Um. Wait. Oh. The previous card that we played with the chain did that not also taunt? I guess it did not. For some reason, I thought that taunted as well. Man. Okay. Took away my pain. Okay. Now, because he's vulnerable and we're not using card plays... I think I also want to drop that box, and I also want to drop this box to clear this, and then the two resist will handle that. Oh, he's not in range. Okay, love it, love it, love it. All right. Wish me luck. You took your shot, but Mother wasn't having it. All right. We are not done yet. Two more pups. All right, here. They've chosen Wolverine. You're gonna pay for what you've done here. I'm gonna make sure of that. Yo, I mean, okay, so all out I pretty much gotta do. Talks a big game. This is where the quick cards get a little dangerous, right? With the with against Sabretooth. Because it's like marginal impact. And in this situation, I feel like he may just go down. The only thing I could do here to set up a stun would be knocking into the thing that has been used. So let's do this. It is a lot of damage. He's vulnerable. 
It's going to ditch our hunter cards. Or, or, do I just, do I just put this on him and then play the all out? Or, or do I put this on him, do the quick attack? Hopefully he doesn't attack Wolverine, and then I've got a hero combo to maybe finish him. Oh, hello. Hello. What is that? Well, that's lovely. I didn't even notice that. He's under a big fat drop. Yes, he is. This might be... We might be able to take him here. No mercy for the servants of Hillary. <laughs> Did not like that. Yeah, he's... He's not quite dead. He's not quite dead yet. If I do a shove, I can do it. If we can knock him into something. Which I can't. Of course. He might be in range of that. Huh. I'm trying to think of what other damage card I might be able to draw here. That would do 132. I'm going to redraw Last Sight. Actually, I, I should... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, what I like about this... What I like about this is I can get rid of one of the dogs. It also grants me a move. And then what I could do with that move is come over here and do a push into him. All of that in one card play. And then I have enough for all out. Which might not even be necessary. Because I could just kill him with all out after this. Yeah, okay, we're good. Leave some for the rest of us. That drop was insane damage. Okay, so now while he's down... Oh my god, that is so nice to see. That's really nice. We also have another drop over there. Okay. Things are happening. First one that makes an old. I wonder if he joke. comes in, like if he joins Christ. us after this, what his friendship level is at. I feel like it's gonna be at zero. Which is sad. Uh so we're definitely dark healing here. That's so good. And then off of that. <laughs> like, is he immune to berserk? I feel like no. So he might be able to clear a bunch of dogs too. But we have to make sure that the three enemies close to him are, are gone. That's that's the thing. For a friend in need. No, or the three of us are far away is what I'm trying to say. Obsidian collar, huge. Huge. And then I could gather here, like I do hit both, which is fine, but I, I feel like I feel like that's not enough. I'm gonna redraw this, see what we get. <laughs> really? I mean, he's gonna take some some damage from these guys here. 
So that I'm actually kind of okay with it. And then we should see his lifesteal card come up again soon as well. Um, it's just a matter of like... I think I'm safe to play this, honestly. Because most of the cards it affects are just the attacks. We have the KO one and the and the stun one. Which, either way, both of those being doubled is, is good. It doesn't affect the all-out. So, I'm fine with just playing it. And plus, while he's down, this is an ideal time to play it. Because it doesn't trigger Frenzy. Although, the caller cards, some of them trigger it, some of it don't. It's inconsistent. Should I drop this? This is pretty decent to be able to follow up on if we vulnerable him again. So I'd like to hold that. Just means I, I'm i down a card play. I could heal her, but I think... Oh yeah, I'm going to hold it. Maybe, actually what I should have done is run him under that, uh, under that Looks drop like they have got help. to taunt them in there. Not done with me. Okay, we did get a resist there. Oh, hey, nice. Willpower. Seen their faces. Family night at the carnival. I could have almost tasted their fear right before they bought it. Yeah, see, didn't we do an eviscerate me a personal favor if you could shut him up on the dogs and they didn't taunt? Impossible. You heard the lady. Maybe it's because of... Maybe it's because he actually KO'd them and the taunt doesn't go off if they're KO'd. Maybe that's what happened there. Okay, so now we have him to work with again. This could take out two dogs. But I think I have to lifesteal first so he doesn't die. Or I could just dark heal. Let's do that. This should help. Because its attacks are pretty weak. Appreciate it. That gives me a mind breaker, which. If I play here, these two dogs go. And Hunter takes a wallop. Um, okay. So I'm wondering... Where does this put us? Puts us here. Which is further away than this dog. I'm just wondering if I'm putting too much effort into getting that Mind Breaker off. I think maybe it's not worth it. I could do an Eviscerate with one card to clear all of these. I think that's probably the way to go here. Oh, it's, oh sorry, it's not going to clear all of them, but it's going to. This will actually taunt these and draw the aggro. Uh, but then my quick card is kind of wasted, but at the same time, again, it's going to trigger frenzy if I do this, and then the other one is going to kind of accomplish the same thing. And she's still going to be getting attacked. So I, having this lifesteal in my back pocket isn't too bad. I'm going to redraw Mindbreaker. Let's see what we get here. Okay, more. Let me redraw one chain swipe. See if we can get a portal maybe. Ooh, I like that a lot. I do like that. Hmm. 
I just don't have a way to get him into the, uh... Into the vulnerable, really. Even if I... Quick Soul Slashed here, got the extra move, I could move somebody back here. And then push him, but he's not... He's not close enough. To hit that, right? Maybe instead of burning the chain four here, because I'm not KOing these guys anyway. Maybe I just do the chain swipes. See what see what happens on the frenzy, and we go from there. Kiss a goodbye. Now this one will be taunted, so he'll get both the dogs, which is yeah, good. So we're cool. Let's see what happens here. That's a daze. That's a daze. And we got a handful of Wolverine cards. You love to see it. You love to see it. If the target's full health, deal 32 damage. I mean, it's something. We do only need to play this, and then he'll be undazed, but, like, it's not good. Um, yeah, it's not good. But... It will give us the extra move, and then maybe I can knock this guy into the vulnerable for next time. Definitely the least sexy quick card I've ever played in my life. You shouldn't try. You'll only embarrass yourself. So we have two moves now. We can check to see if Wolverine has this. No, he doesn't. Actually, wait a second. No, we should move him first and then look at some environmental stuff. But I don't think we're going to be able to pull it off. We'll see. So move here. Knock him into the vulnerable. Maybe I can knock this down? Yeah, I can actually. And that's going to put me over there, and then I could leap on him from this, and this is all for free. This is all for free. Well, not free. It's heroism, but it's not triggering frenzy. Now it's my turn. So this is exciting. And then magic maybe even can jump from her location. Oh my god. I thought this was a vault. It's a slide. We could slide that right into the hunter for big damage. If I can't heal up, she'll do it for me. Okay, we're out there, but I st actually we're not even because I still have a move. That's insane. This is also. I'm I mean, do I just do this? We get rid of one dog? One hound? Right, this is going to cost 2 and then I still have the move to get this. I'm happy with it. So it begins. Cool. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. And he's not going to act, and he's going to be vulnerable in this next turn, so... I'm just gonna keep I don't know. Back. Maybe I should have just saved Mother the heroism sure for the for the hero combo. That was sure, sure cool. Though. You had your chance. On the plus side, Wolverine has not gone down. Oh, all out, baby. That's the one. Lilith has found the ideal servant in this one. His soul was black long before she got to it. Yeah, when it comes to pieces of trash, old Sabretooth here is one in a million. Speaking of trash, let's take it out. I actually love Wolverine's me. voice. 
That was excellent. Okay, a little fumbly learning some of the new check. stuff, but very happy with the outcome. If I get two stars on that, I'd be stoked, but nobody even went down, I will so... I not fall for the same ruse twice. Thought as much. You're welcome. Enough of this. Easy, kid. These were his people. could, please. That's what folks with bloody hands always say. If we do not stop the Midnight Sun, the entire world will get far bloodier. Not my problem anymore. Forget the damn prophecy. I know I sure as hell am. Aren't you going to follow him? Nah, he may not have been listening. But I am. Keep talking, kid. Oh yeah, he's coming home. Oh my god, the triple. Does that ever feel good? Heck yeah. Let's see what else you got, Wolverine. I don't know who we give the MVP to. Probably uh, the vulnerable ley lines, <laughs> or the uh, the vulnerable deadly grounds. Daughters of the Abbey. Yeah, that's reasonable. Ooh, that's nice. I'm just gonna snag that. That's also sick. Born beneath a midnight sun. That's very fitting. It's very fitting. Um. Could I maybe do something like this so we're not totally blocking everybody? That's pretty cool, too. All right. Epic Gamma Coil. That'll be very nice to start to boost up Wolverine's deck, which is so far incredibly basic. And not that strong. Like, he's very good for clearing out a bunch of little guys. And taunts, obviously, but like... <laughs> 